Hey guys, Matt here from TechRed Reviews covering another day of CES. So day number one, which is actually the second day of CES, just wrapped up and there were some really great products announced that I am very excited to see. And if you've been looking in your YouTube or just reading articles on the web, there have been hundreds of videos and articles coming out and it's really hard to sort through all of that. So I'm making this video to help you find the five best products that were announced at CES day one. So if you own an Android device like a tablet or a phone, or really any sort of mobile device these days, you know that micro USB is essentially the standard at this point. And while it's great that it's so common, it actually isn't that great. It's so hard to fumble and get the port in the cable into the port correctly, but USB type C is hoping to fix that. So it's basically the Apple's lightning connector. It's reversible and it's the same on both ends. So new computers are coming out with this USB type C and it's you can just easily plug it in. It doesn't matter which way you put it. And it's gonna be hard switching and upgrading all of your cables and USB devices. But I think this is a worthwhile upgrade as not needing to like fumble around and just use the same cable on either end is gonna be great in the future as we get more and more devices. So as if 3D printers weren't already cool enough printing in the PLA and ABS, MakerBot has announced some new filaments that can mirror wood, iron, bronze, and even limestone. So I think these are, like I said, it just made 3D printers that much cooler. Being able to print something out that looks and feels like wood, I think it's just incredible. And 3D printing technology, it just keeps advancing so fast. And if we're already here in a couple, from a couple years of progress, I just can't wait to see where we are in 15 years. We, maybe we'll be able to print out our own like phone circuit boards. I think that'd be totally awesome if that worked with Project Ara. I know that's kind of far out, but I can really see 3D printing technology heading here. And I think the expansion of the type of materials you can print in, I think this is just the start of it. So in the future, I hope to see more, but this is a great start if you want to get some new cool filament to play around with. So nowadays we are carrying around laptops, phones, tablets, smartwatches, and it's really hard to charge all of those. And more importantly, it's annoying to carry around the charging cables. And while something like the MacBook charger and phone chargers have become a lot smaller and made it a lot better, it's still, these are still pretty big if you have to carry this and a phone charger. So Zolt, they have announced a new, pro, uh, new product and it offers to charge your laptop and it also includes two USB ports for charging phones and tablets, whether it be iOS devices or Android with micro USB, mini USB, it doesn't matter. It's very portable. It's probably the size of your current phone charger. If you have something like a Samsung phone, it's slightly bigger, but it can charge your laptop and up to two USB devices at once. So an announcement by MSI with their new GS30 Gaming Ultrabook introduced, or they didn't introduce the concept, but it's one of the first examples in the real world we've seen of external GPUs. And the way they did this is they have a port on the back and that goes into a dock where you can put in almost any GPU you want. And then the Ultrabook will switch from its integrated Iris graphics to that with a quick reboot. And while this is cool and if you're into gaming, you should definitely look into this. I'll have a link down below in the description. But I think this is just a great concept and I can see it being used, being used a lot more in the future. And you could just buy a external GPU and like hook it up with a Thunderbolt cable to a laptop or even a Mac as some things like the MacBook Air are a little underpowered when it comes to video editing. So I just can't wait to see this become more widely spread and I really hope this will because I think it would be not only like I said to get more power on laptops, but if you have an older GPU in your laptop and you just want a quick way to upgrade that, I think that would be an inexpensive and excellent way to do that. So this is kind of going back to day zero of CES, but companies like Parrot and Panasonic have been announcing new dashboards for cars that have Android Auto and some of them Apple's CarPlay built in. And this is a great way to get new technology in an old car because if you were looking at Android Auto and thought that's awesome but I have to buy a new car, now you can just buy one of these and stick it in your dashboard and you'll have all the features of Android Auto and some additional features they've thrown in such as tracking your gas usage and braking patterns 
help you better drive your car and get better gas mileage. So I just think it's great that you can put the new technology in your old car and not have to buy, spend a lot of money buying a new car. So that's it for day one of CES. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, make sure to like, comment, all of that. And I am hoping to do this once again throughout the rest of CES, having a quick recap of the top five devices announced. And like I said, subscribe, all of that, and I'll see you guys in the next video.